I would like to try to explain the concepts of what we are doing. What we are doing is we are transferring a group of related files from one computer to another. So these files have to be related to each other, which is very different than just uploading an assignment to Canvas. All right, now what I have on my desktop is a folder, and I have called it web underscore server. So somewhere on your computer, you need a folder. This folder is going to mimic the web server. So what's inside this folder will be transferred to the web server exactly as it is here. So the goal is to build the website on your computer so that all of the links work. If all the links work, then you know it's going to work on the server. If the links don't work on your computer, it's not going to work on the server. It's not a matter of just randomly uploading files. All right, so let's take a look at what we have in here. Here is index.html. And this is the file that I have already placed in the root of your web account. Every time you make a change to this file, you need to upload it again. This essentially is your home page. Here is a sample of the first two assignments for chapter eight. So let's take a look at index.html. All right, this is your home page here. So these are the links and these have to work. So if these links don't work, then it's no use of trying to put this on the server. Now I have written in sample suggestion path for you. You don't have to follow my format. It's just a suggestion to show you how to organize things. So here I am in brackets, and let's take a look at what we have. There's the Chapter 8 folder, which is inside the Web Server folder. If I were to expand that, there's the assignments, there's the exercises. If I were to expand that, there is the Chapter 8 exercise. If I was to expand this, these are the files for the Yoga Studio assignment, and there's the main index. All right, now let's... All right, here is the path. This is saying that we go to Chapter 8, which is right over here on the left. Then we go to the Exercises folder, which is right over here on the left. Then we access the chapter 8 underscore exercise dot html file and here it is so this is the path and that path has to match this structure over here if not the link will not work and i cannot grade your assignment all right let's look at the next one this is chapter 8 that's a folder all right there's the chapter 8 folder remember that's our main folder here all right, now we go into the Assignments folder. There it is, that's a folder. Now we go access index.html. There it is. So this is the file here that we will click when, for this link here. And this file will open. Notice there are also some images in here. Where are my images? Uh, oh, no, they're right here. The images are right here. And there's my style sheet. So all of these are the assignment files, and they are in the assignments folder. And the assignments folder is in chapter eight. All right, with respect to the exercise, there's only one file. Okay, there's no related style sheets or images. So it's one file, and that's inside the exercises folder. This other stuff is generated by the editor. All right. So the first thing you need to do is to get your files together and make sure they work so that when you click on that, it works. When you click on this, it works. All right, now you need an FTP program. There are several FTP programs available. I have given you a few suggestions. I am using Globalscape 
uh, this is cute, cute FTP version nine. It is a paid program. However, it might have a 60 day trial period, which is enough time to use it. All right, there are three things that you need to tell it. Number one is the host. And this is the host, it's written in the handout. Number two is the username, that's your username. Number three is your password. Okay, the port should be 21, it generally works automatically. All right, now you need to navigate to your files. So what we're doing, on the left is my computer. On the right, this is the web server. So you plug these three values into the bar up here, you click the connect, and it will automatically take you into your web account. So here's your server. This is the web server. That's your account right there. And this is the index.html file that I placed in there for you. All right, now you need to get your files up here. Your files are going to wind up here. So where are they over here? Okay, well, mine are, I put it on the desktop. There's the desktop. I got a lot of folders here. All right, so let's see if I can find it real easily. Uh, let's see, there it is, web server. I double click, there we go. All right, there's index, which is on my computer. Remember, this is my computer now. Here's chapter eight. Now, all you really need to do is drag chapter eight over there. And I'm gonna delete it after we're finished. Because we know that everything works with respect to index. So it's not that difficult putting the files up here. The hard part is getting everything situated, getting the assignment finished, getting the links created correctly on your computer. All right, so let me min minimize this and let me type in your URL. All right, this is the URL up here. Also, it's in your handout. If I click exercises, there we go. I click Yoga Studio, there we go. So you always want to check your web address after you upload something, make sure all the links work. If not, you need to figure out where the problem is. Remember when you add the chapter nine files, you will need to create the links on the main index.html, which is your home page, and that file needs to be uploaded a second time or third time or fourth time. Every time you make a change, you need to upload the home page. So again, on the left-hand side, that's your computer. Develop everything there. Then all you do is transfer it to the right. That's the web server. By logging in with the correct credentials, when you're finished, you can just terminate the session.